In today's video, we're gonna talk about entry versus higher level DSLRs. Hey David, what makes an entry level DSLR different from a professional, prosumer, or mid-range DSLR? There's a lot of variability in this answer that has to do with the camera manufacturer because different camera manufacturers implement their different ranges of cameras in different ways. Some general differences that occur for all the manufacturers include things like the number of pixels because there's this belief that throwing more pixels at a thing necessarily makes it better. Number of pixels is a big one. Frame rate, buffer size, uh, the power of the onboard computer, those things are generally somewhat different between the entry, prosumer, and professional grade cameras from any maker. Um, some other th things, certain makers put different features in their professional and prosumer grade cameras versus their mid-range and entry level cameras. So in some makers, the entry level cameras will just simply have fewer capabilities than the next tiers up will have until you get to professional cameras which can do all this stuff. Some makers put the same capabilities in all of their cameras across the range with a couple of, a couple of minor variations like the um, onboard GPS for instance that the K1 and the K3 2 have. But it, in terms of camera function basically they are all exactly the same. The question is how many menus and buttons do you have to push to get to that function? So. That brings me to the most significant difference between entry level and professional grade cameras. Build quality and um, everything else aside, the biggest difference is how many buttons are on the camera. If you have a camera with two dials and three buttons, you're gonna be using those buttons and dials a whole lot to get to all the different functions that you want. If you have a camera with three dials and 16 buttons on it, now you've got a lot more buttons you can push to get to specific stuff right away. So, so the interfaces on higher level cameras allow more functions to be accessed by the push of a button or the push of a couple of buttons, whereas the interfaces on the entry level cameras mean that the user has to go into a menu, scroll through a bunch of menus, try to remember where this thing was that they're looking for, and then select it in order to get that function to work. So it becomes, a difference of convenience and speed in ac uh, accessing functions more than anything else that is the most significant difference between entry-level and professional-grade cameras uh, that are sold on the market today.